Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to use at wire decorator, right? In this video, we will see how to use at wire decorator to call any apex method. So see, in last video, we have seen syntax for using at wire decorator, right? So see, same syntax we have to use when we have to call any apex method. So see, what will be the change? So see, in last video, we have seen uh, adapter ID here we have to mention configuration for adapter ID here we have to mention right at wire decorator syntax that we have to write here here we can mention property or function right how to use function for at wire decorator so that we will see in next video so here we will see here in this example we will use property okay and this adapter ID we have to import from the adapter module right so these things we have seen in last video in this video we will see how to call apex method right so see what are the apex method that we have to call so that apex method here we have to mention right see we are calling apex method from the component right we are calling apex method from the component and apex method will be defined in some class right so we have to define some class and in that class we will define apex method right and we are calling that apex method from any component right we are calling it from the lwc component right so apex method name here we have to mention what parameters should be passed to that method so that we have to mention here in adapter configuration now see adapter id means apex method name right we have to import that apex method from adapter module now what should be there in adapter module so see from which class we have to import that apex method right so module from which we will import this apex method so that we have to mention in adapter module okay now we will see one example and from that example it will be very clear okay so see here i have opened visual studio code this is the project lwc project 2 right so see we have to call apex method right so we have to define apex method in some class right so what we will do in force dash app we have these classes right so we will create our own class and that class we will deploy okay so see in classes we have to create class right so we will select create apex class now see we will create one class so we will give some name account helper 3 likewise i am giving some name okay now i am pressing enter we will save it in default directory okay so see this class is created right now see we don't require constructor so we will delete it now see here we have this keyword with sharing what is the meaning of with sharing keyword so see it enforces sharing rules that means this apex code will run in context of current user so see again i am repeating with sharing is a keyword and it makes sure that this apex code will run in context of current user now see we have to call this apex method from the component right we have to call this apex method from the component right and for that we have to use one annotation so which annotation we have to use so see at aura enabled so see when i have typed this so automatically i got this option aura enable i will click on this okay so see we have to use this annotation aura enable now what is the meaning of this annotation so see we are calling this method from the component right so by this annotation we are making this method available to the component so for that purpose here we have mentioned annotation aura enable okay now see public so we want to keep this method public static so it can be called without creating class this is a return type okay so in our example we want return type list and here we will return list of account account is an object name okay so in our example our method should return list of accounts so method name so some name we will give get account list something like this okay so this name we will give okay now see in this try and catch block so by default we got it okay now see what we want 
our method should return list. It should return list based on some SQL query. So that SQL query here we have to write. So see, here I am writing return, right? Now see, we have to execute SQL query, right? So that SQL query we have to mention in square bracket like this and semicolon. In this square bracket, we will write SQL query. So see, select. Suppose I want name and phone. Form, our object name is account. Right? So see, what we are doing? We will fetch all the records and which fields we are selecting? Name and phone. Right? Okay. So it is done. Now we will save it. Okay? So we have written this class account helper 3. And in this class, we have written this method get account list. Now see, we will save it. And now we will deploy this class onto the Salesforce org. Okay. So see here we have account helper 3.cls. We will right click on this. We will choose this option deploy source to org. Okay. So no any error and it got deployed onto the org. Okay. Now see we have written our class and also we have deployed it. Right. Okay. Now we will create LWC component. So see on LWC we will right click. We will choose option create lightning web component. We will give some name. Suppose I am giving name wire example 7. Something like this. Enter. We will choose default directory. Okay. So by this, this component is added here. And there are three files, right? HTML file, JavaScript file and meta.xml file. Whatever the things, those are visible on component. So that things we have to mention in HTML file, right? Okay. So see what we will do. We will create one lightning card, something like this. For this lightning card, we will give some title, wire decorator to call Apex method, something like this. Okay. In JavaScript file, we will create one property with the name accounts. Okay. So in JavaScript file, we will create one wire property with the name accounts. So see. For wire property, there are two more properties. Suppose accounts is the name. So see accounts dot data and accounts dot error. Accounts dot error. So see suppose accounts is a wire property. So it has two more properties accounts dot data and accounts dot error. Okay. So if there is any error, so that will be given by accounts dot error and data is given by the accounts dot data. So see it will be list right and this is property this is property and this property will be list right okay so see so to print list we require for each loop right we require for each loop okay so what we will do we will remove this okay and now we will write code for for each loop so see template now see we have to check whether this accounts have data or not so for that we will use if true is equal to here we will write accounts dot data like this right so see if these accounts have some data that means it will be true right okay then only we will fetch okay inside that we will write for loop so see template for colon each is equal to in curly bracket accounts dot data right and one more thing we have to mention that for colon item right here will be our variable so see something like this right okay now see we are fetching data from this list so there will be multiple records right so see this variable will give one record at a time. Okay. So in first iteration, first record, second iteration, second record, third iteration, third record. So see, we will create one division. Here we will write name colon in curly bracket. So see our variable name a double c, right? Dot name. So name is a field from the account object. Okay. Name is a field in account object. Okay. Similarly, we will write 
ड्यू फोन कोलन इन करली ब्रैकेट विल राइट अकाउंट दैट ए डबल सी डॉट फोन लाइक दिस नाउ सी इट इज शोइंग सम एर सो सी मिसिंग की फॉर एलिमेंट ड्यू इन साइड ऑफ इटरेटर एलिमेंट्स विद इन इटरेटर मस्ट है यूनिक एंड कंप्यूटेड की वैल्यू ओके सो वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड की यूनिक की सो सी वट वील डू we will add one more div like this and here we will add key key is equal to in curly bracket here we will write acc dot id right so here we are providing unique id right okay so we have written html code right and in this html code we have used wire property account right we have used wire property account so this property we have to define in javascript file right okay so see in javascript file here we will define wire property so see at wire and accounts like this right so see this accounts property that we have used in html file so here we are defining right by using at wire decorator so see we will import this wire property from lwc module okay so here in between this in this round bracket we have to mention adapter id and also we can mention adapter configuration right so see in the beginning we will mention adapter id only and after that we will add configuration so see when we are calling any apex method so our adapter id will be method name okay so reference to the method name so see what is our method name get account list right so this is our method name right so same method name here we have mentioned so here we have mentioned adapter id get account list right so we have to import this adapter id from the model so see how to import it so see here we will write import what we have to import get account list right form now see we have to import this right so from where we have to import so see add cell force so see here we got cell force slash apex right click on this slash our class name so what is our class name account helper 3 right dot our method name so our method name is get account list right so see this is our method name this is our class right so class dot method name right this is our complete module from where we are importing this adapter id right so see this adapter id we have mentioned for this wire decorator right so this is at wire syntax this is our wire property right with the name accounts okay so we will save it now see our next file that is meta.xml okay so here we will make it true targets we will add okay so see target we will add lightning underscore underscore record page okay so see we want to show it on record page that's why we have mentioned record page here okay so we will save it so see in our class we have forgot to mention one thing so see here along with or enable here we have to mention cacheable is equal to true so see by this data is saved on client side and because of that our components performance get improved so see we will save it okay and again we will deploy this class okay so see we will deploy this okay now see we will refresh it by control f5 so here you can see all records right name and phone name and phone name and phone so all records are printed here right so in this way we can call apex method by using wire decorator and we have called this apex method from the component right now see what we will do we will print name and phone for the current record only so see now we are printing name and phone for all records right now what we will do we will print name and phone for the current record only so see what we will do in javascript file from this we will pass one parameter so see here 
in curly bracket, we will mention configuration for the adapter ID. So, see how to mention. Here, we have to mention parameter name and we have to pass one value, right? So, see what we will do, we will pass record ID. So, see that we have to define. So, add API record ID like this. So, by this, we are defining record ID property and it will be public property, right? As we have mentioned, add API decorator. Now, see here we will add API. Okay. Now, see this record ID here we will use. Okay. So, see what we will do in our class here for get account list, we will add one parameter. So, see data type of this parameter will be ID. So, see ID and one variable name. So, see suppose here I am adding ACC ID. Okay. So, see same variable we will mention in JavaScript file. So, see I am saving this and here in JavaScript file we will mention it. So, see this is our parameter name, right? Colon in single quote we will mention this record ID. So, see dollar and this record ID like this. So, see what we are doing for this function we are passing one value, right? What we are passing? We are passing record ID, right? This is the parameter of the function. For this parameter, we are passing this record ID, this value, right? Okay. Now see, this is the parameter that we have mentioned for the get account list function. Now see, we will change this SQL query. So see, here we will add where ID is equal to and see, we have to use this account ID, right? So, one more thing here we have to add colon account ID. So, see like this. So, see this variable here we are using like this. So, here we have added one condition where ID is equal to ACC ID, right? And don't forget to mention this colon. So, see where ID is equal to colon and this variable name, this parameter name, account ID, right? Okay. So, we have saved it. Now, we will deploy this class and this component. So, see, we will deploy this class. Okay. Now, we will deploy our component. So, see, here we got name and phone for this record, right? See, suppose if we choose another record, so see, if I select this, so here we got this name and phone for this record, right? That's why it is said that why service is reactive service. So, see, as per the record ID, here we are getting data, right? If we select another record, so accordingly we are getting name and phone number. So, in this way, we can pass parameters to Apex method from the component. Now, see one more thing we will add. So, see in this HTML file, if there is data, then this part will run, right? But suppose there is no data or suppose there is some error. So, see that error also we have to handle. So, see if colon true is equal to here we will mention accounts dot error something like this right so see if there is any error so we will print this error statement here like this so see we will deploy it okay we will refresh it by control f5 as there is no any error we got this record like this in next video, we will see how to use function instead of this wire property. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.